Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with this Spring Boot series. Now till this point everything was working perfectly right but then we need something here because when we were fetching this values example if I say hey I want an alien with 103 we got JSON value. But then normally if you want to fetch value it is you can do that with browser if you what if you want to send a JSON how will you do that and what if you want to delete a resource and update a resource in that case you will be needing a client. Now one of the client which we can use here which is very famous called as postman. Now using postman you can you know you can send a API request you can fetch data and you can do a lot of stuff. So we'll jump to this postman app. So normally well, initially you know postman app was available as a chrome extension but now they recommend you to install the app. So when I click on postman apps you can see for different platform they have different setup here. Initially it was only one for chrome. Now you can see we have Postman for Mac and for Windows for Linux. Now since I'm using Mac, I'll be clicking on this. If you are using Windows, of course, you'll go for download and for Linux, we have download there. Now we'll click on download here. So it should get downloaded and you can install it. It's very easy actually. So it is getting downloaded. We'll wait for some time. So it is getting unzipped. So when I clicked on the Postman app or the download, I will, it will give me a pop up and then we'll say, okay, move to application folder. Yes. So we got our postman here. So it is getting open and we got a sign up. Now, of course, you will be doing a sign up. I guess it is free account. Initially, there was no sign up. But then after, you know, once they got popular, they have they are asking you to sign up. I will sign, sign in with Google. On this page, what you will simply do is this is where you will send a request. And this is where it will maintain the history of your request request stuff. Now, again, it will take some time for you if you are new to postman you know how to access all the features here now we'll go step by step it's very easy actually just go to so this is a this is a place where you will send a request you can send any request doesn't matter which page uh, is it a html page or a, a json resource doesn't matter we'll go for google www.google.com and when you send a request you will get a response and this is your response odd right the thing is this is your HTML page, you know, this is a Google page. The only thing is it does, it's not a browser, it's a client We're using which you can fetch JSON data, which using which you can send the JSON, not just JSON, but XML as well. So this is basically a REST call API or client. Now this is where you will get the response, right? There's a place where you'll get the response. Now, of course, when you say google.com, that's why you're getting this stuff, right? What if you send a request which you are sending on a browser? So if you can see, this is the request which we were using, right? which is uh, localhost colon 8080 slash alien slash 103. Now, when you click on send, you got your JSON and it, it, it is in JSON format, right? It looks cool now because this is a proper JSON format. In fact, if you send a request for aliens, uh, you can say this is an array of JSON. So this is a JSON object, which is, which is an array itself. And then we got multiple JSON object inside that. Now, what if you want to send different type of requests? Let's say post, get, delete, how will you do that? So there's an option here. So you can see we have get, we have post, we have put. There are so many options available, right? We will be seeing delete and uh, delete and uh, put later. But as of now, get is something we will be using. And when you send a request, you will get a get request. Now, can I specify, hey, I don't want to use JSON, I want to use XML. Now, there's a concept of content negotiation. Again, we'll talk about that later. But yes, we have an option to do that. So you will go to headers and you will mention whatever data you want. This is where you will mention the header, what type of data you want, whatever the data you are sending to the server, you can specify all that here. Now, we also get this status uh, status thing, which is uh, 200 OK. If you if there's any error, let's say resource not found, it will send 404, which is your favorite response time. Everything is available here, you know. So this is the best place you can test your APIs. What if you want to send some data? So let's say if you want to send some data, you will use a post request and this is where you will send data. So everything is available. Again, we'll be doing that a lot in the subsequent tutorials. But as of now, in this video, the important thing was how to use a postman and how to download it. So I hope you have, uh, you will be downloading Postman after this session so that you will be ready for the next session. So that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.